everybody, it is Julie. Welcome back to Pages and Pens. Today I'm here with my August TBR. I am filming this really early because I feel pretty confident that this is going to end up being my TBR for the month of August, but anything I don't finish in the month of July I'll probably roll over. So today is the 18th of July and I am pre-filming because I have time. So I will be participating in another month-long reading challenge. I learned about this readathon from A Court of Books and Love on Instagram, and I will have everybody linked down below. They created it with a couple other people. This one is called the Read a Thin, basically because everybody misspells readathon and it ends up being read a thin. It started off as a joke, but it's also to thin out your TBR. So this is to read things that you already have at your house on your shelves, and I have made a promise to myself to go on a no buy until at least September. I'm hoping to extend it, but at least September. So this is the perfect readathon for me because it means that these are all books that I already have on my shelves. I'm not going to the library. I'm reading only things in my house already. Let's go over what I'm reading. There are 18 challenges. They would like you to complete six of the challenges with at least three books, but you can multitask. So you can use a one book for more than one challenge. So really three books, six tasks, and there's 18 total to pick from, but it's going to be kind of like the emojiathon. I'm going to fit books in where I can read what I want to anyway, and then find a place for them to go. Pretty excited about all these books, so I feel like this is probably going to be pretty close to what my TBR ends up being. There is another readathon, which is a middle grade readathon, that is um, one, of, one of the people that follows me, Donald, is creating that. I will have information for that listed down below once I have it, but I believe that's a week in August, either the second or third week of August. It's all middle grade books. One middle grade book in this, so I will read that, that, I will read that book on that week whenever that week falls. Let's just jump right into it because I got all the books. The first one is a 2017 release and I'm cheating a little bit. I will be reading A Closed and Common Orbit by Becky Chambers. This is the follow-up to The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet, which I loved so, so much. This is a 2017 paperback release. So it was released in 2016, but the paperback edition, which is the edition I have, was not released until 2017. So I'm counting this as my 2017 release because I make the rules here. It's my channel. So I'll be reading this because I definitely want to see what's going on with that series. The next one is to read a book that is the same color or similar as your birthstone. My birthstone is a sapphire. I was born in September, so it is blue. And for that, I will be reading Our Dark Duet by V.E. Schwab or Victoria Schwab. And um, I loved this Savage Song. It's up there on my shelves and I cannot wait to read this. It is a duology. So this is the last book of that series. I'm scared. I'm like nervous about it because I just want my babies to be okay. But I'm really excited about it. So I will be getting to that. And then we have Read a Diverse Book. And for that, I am going to double down on this because Becky Chambers writes incredibly diverse books. And I know this is going to be just as diverse as The Long Way to a Small Airy Planet. So this one counts for that. Read a book where the title or the author's name starts with the first letter as your name. So for that, I will be reading a book that Sky Horse Publishing sent me. A lot of these are going to also end up in a haul at some point, guys. Like almost all of these are recently hauled, but I haven't done the haul yet. So you'll see them at some point. But Sky Horse Publishing sent me The Next Together by Lauren James. James, Julie, you know. And I'm really excited about this one. This one is about two souls that find each other across like lifetimes. So it spans centuries and century after century after century, these two souls find each other. I don't know much more than that about it, but I'm really excited to get to this. I've seen this one around a little bit, but I haven't heard it talked about too much. I haven't really, I haven't seen any reviews for it. So I'm excited to give this one a read. Again, they sent it to me, so I'd like to get to it at some point so I can give them my thoughts on it. Find a book that is related to your favorite emoji. My favorite emoji, the one that I use all the time, is the purple heart because purple hair. So for that, I will be reading, I don't know what I said. I have a lot of contemporaries on here, so really like anything could count, I guess. But I will say On the Fence by Casey West. This is a contemporary. It's a love story, I am sure, because it's Casey West. This one I got on Book Outlet, and I'm not a huge fan of Casey West. This one may be my deciding factor on whether or not I continue with her books, but I'll be reading this for the month because I think it'll be a really quick read for me. Read a book starting with one of the letters of TBR. So T, B, or R. Twisted Palace. T, TBR, 2B, Twisted. Uh, this is the third book of the Royals series by Aaron Watt. I read the first two over vacation the first week of July and I really want to finish the series so I'll be reading this one in August 
and I'm stoked about this one, not gonna lie. Then we have read a book with a summer themed cover. For that, again, I am going with Casey West because it's a sunset, it's on a dock, there's water in the background. Also on this is number 12. The 12th challenge is read a book with water on the cover. I'll be using this one as well. So that one's definitely doubling up for a couple different challenges. Then read a book with warm colors on the cover, red, orange, yellow. For that, I will be reading The Girl That Circumnavigated Fairyland in a Ship of Her Own Making by Catherine M. Valenti. I've heard good things about this. This is my middle grade read, so I will be reading this during the middle grade challenge, whatever week that might be. Again, I'll have that linked when Donald lets me know the details on that. I'll have it linked down below for you. I think I've heard decent things about the first book. I know it's more than one book, but I don't know how many. There's really cute like illustrations in here too. So I feel like this will be another easy read for me, a nice quick one. Start and finish a series. Are you stinking kidding me? A lot of the books that I will be reading are the end to a series. So I'm trying to wrap up a lot of series this month. Our Dark Duet finishes up a series. Twisted Palace finishes a series. A Closed and Common Orbits finishes a series. Um, I have other books on my TBR that you can't see that finish series. So I won't be starting one and finishing one, but I will be finishing a whole bunch. Read a book in 24 hours. For that, I will be reading Sweep, A Book of Shadows by Kate Tiernan. I believe this is a series, but this is like a super tiny book and the font is rather large. So I feel like I can read this pretty quickly. So I'll be reading that for my 24 hour book. Then read a new to you author. A new to you author is A.R. Tour and it's The Girl in 6E. I don't know why, but I am feeling thrillers and I want to read this really, really badly. I'm actually pushing for this to be the buddy read group for Job and the Librarians. I don't know upon filming this if it is or not, but regardless, I'm reading this in August. So this will either be the buddy read for Job and the Librarians or I'm just reading it regardless. Small caveat. If this isn't for Job and the Librarians, I will be adding another book to this TBR that will be for the Job and the Librarians book club. Um, I will also have whatever book my Patreon subscribers vote for, um, I want to finish out a series. So there's a whole bunch of series that the Patreon people can vote for in a poll for which series they'd like me to finish, and then I will finish that series. Now some of those books already show up on this TBR because they're goals of mine in general, but they get to pick which one they want me to read the most. And then that one will be one that I do an official review on um, as well. So, and then a book set in summer, again, on the fence, because I don't know. Buddy read a book, again, whatever job in the librarians is, is what I will be buddy reading. I don't know what it is yet. I'm hoping it's the girl in 6E, but if it's not, it'll be something else. Read a book that is re recommended to you highly by somebody in the booktube community. And for that, I will be reading on my nook, I have the Stage Dive series. And I have read books one and two in physical copy. The other ones are on here. So I have the prologue for the next one, which I believe is lead. So I'll be reading lead next and then going into this, the fourth one. So I have the third and the fourth one also on my e-reader. So I will be reading the Stage Dive series because Chelsea from Chelsea Darling Reads told me I had to. And she was read. Read a guilty pleasure read and for that you guys know it's gonna be my Wicked Lovely series by Melissa Marr. This is Radiant Shadows. This is the fourth book and I need to read the fourth book so I can get to the fifth book which is the last one and it's the only one I haven't read yet. I haven't read the fifth one. I have read this. So I am going to jump right into this series. I really want to finish this series so I may read both of the um, remaining books. I'm not sure. We'll see. Oh this was my summer book. I was wrong. This is Crazy Hot. This is a Beach Lane novel by Melissa De La Cruz and I'm going to read the third book in July at some point. I don't know when but I will finish the third one. If not the third and the fourth one will be in August because I want to finish this series out. But guys I'm telling you I am wrapping up a ton of series. I don't want these left open at the end of the year so I'm wrapping them up. Read an adult or new adult book for that. It's The Girl in 6E again and then read a book that's outside of my favorite genre. The Girl in 6E is a thriller that's not my preferred genre. I don't know where I fit this one in. Maybe this one was for finishing a series, even though almost all of these finish a series. This one will also finish a series. This is Dreams of Gods and Monsters by Lainey Taylor, and it's a hunker, but I want to finish this series soon. I don't know if it'll happen in August, but I'm gonna at least try. I think a lot of these books that I've picked so far are going to be really quick reads and I think this will probably be my most intimidating one. I think the rest I'll probably fly through. So we'll see. Hopefully I can get to that one. 
But that's all my books for August. I'm really, really excited about all these books. I'm excited to be reading my bookshelf. I'm excited to not be bringing in more books and getting series finished up and wrapped up and done with. I would like to do series reviews on all these. When I'm reading a series, it doesn't make sense for me to do individual reviews on each book. I'd rather do a series wrap up. So once I finish out these series, I will be doing series wrap ups on all of these. I'm actually going to stop this video and film a review for a book. So that is it for my August TBR. If anything changes, you guys will hear about it on my Instagram stories where I update you guys on my reading and in my wrap up at the end of August. But I will be doing the Read a Thin, which is a month long reading challenge as well as the middle grade reading challenge, whenever that is. Again, all the details and creators will be listed down below. That's it for this video. If you liked it, be sure to give me a big old thumbs up, click subscribe, and I will see all of you in my next video. Bye guys.